Are you guys kidding me? That's your home. What the hell happened? Oh. Back to this version of Walter. Walter, what happened to everyone else? The infamous Heisenberg. Is it still there? Now, why exactly do you need that? Hello, Carol. Carol was in shock. So, Hank. What are you gonna do? How will you handle this? Oh, you're gonna take it with you. He's still in disbelief. Probably in denial as well. Hey, buddy. Ready for a cold one? Hey, buddy. Did you see a ghost? I feel 100%. Oh, no. I hope it's not something you ate. No, no. I... It's not something I ate. I just saw something. This must be kind of heartbreaking for Hank. He's like, am I about to ruin this family? Right. Feel better. I don't know. I am kind of nervous. I feel like he's about to have a panic attack. Yo, 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 yo. I knew it. I knew it. This is the panic attack of all panic attacks. That's his writing. I can't believe this is happening. Can't deny it anymore. Well, we're having a special on hand wax, twenty one ninety nine. If you're interested in getting rid of those water spots, just what the hell are you doing here, Lydia? Look at Walter's face. He's like, what the hell? You can't speak here. Are you crazy? This is not. They can't do it without him. He's the mastermind. You're putting me in a box here. You know what could happen. There is no way out. And if you'll hand this to your car wash professional, then have an A one day. That's like, get the hell out of here. I'm just wondering who washes a rental car. Oh. Are you stupid, Lydia? She's a former business Okay, he told her. Who wants me to go back. But I said no. And I won't. Oh, Sky's about to fight her. Get out of here. Now. Or I'm going to kill you. Never come back here. Please stop. Please. Okay. Right. Hank is experiencing an existential crisis. Like, guys, in his position, what would you do? I have no idea what I would do. A lot of stuff to look through, right? And there we go. All the documents. Anything pointing at Walter? Not really, right? He's being careful. That's my guy. Kinda looks like Walter. That is all you've got. That whole thing in the jails. I mean, when they start to whack the lawyers, that's when I draw the line. This goes to Kaylee Erman Trout, and that goes to Mr. and Mrs. Albert Sharp. All right, nice. I, I don't know and I don't want to know. Uh, thing is, what those folks want is to know what happened to their boy. Sack full of cash on their doorstep. That's just going to raise more questions. Kaylee wow. Armstrout, that's Mike's granddaughter. I actually like this from Jesse. But it is risky. Oh, Find a way. Yourself, so just... oh, no, no, no. I was just uh, that's not smart. I'm not bullshit, Saul. Are you going to do this or not? But Jesse, yes, yes, I feel like Saul has I a point here. So we got to be smart when we do this. Calm down. What do you mean, you handle it? Of course. And he brought the bags. What you asked Saul to do? I mean, come on. It's just nonsensical. Is it? Maybe. Probably. It's blood money. Is that the reason? But it was in the heat of the moment. I was trying to win an argument. He has said a lot in the heat of the moment. A lot of hurtful stuff. Especially to Jesse. Past is the past. Are you serious? It's not that easy. Nothing can change what we've done. Yeah, and that's why it hurts. Oh, Kaylee Irman Trout. What do you mean, why? Children's someone looking after her. Yeah. Mike is not here. And you doing what you did? Buffing Mike's guys. Oh, don't tell me that he realized. You'd have to look over your shoulder 
for the rest of your life and that's not how you do things so yeah jesse yeah, just and, figured it I out know that. he knows what happened yeah, you took care of mike the last time that i saw him he had his bag the, the one that i brought him and he, he got into his car and he drove away and for all i know why are you lying for and well i feel like this would make me even more angry so is Albert. Okay. Just be honest. Or maybe that's a stupid idea. What if Jesse just shoots him? Oh no. And don't tell me that my man is about to find out. Have you seen leaves of grass? Hmm? She said, what? Walt Whitman, dark green hardcover. I didn't even know he had that. Strange, right? Oh. He's like, what if I'm being tracked? Shouldn't you be doing this during the day? Don't tell me that he found something. He did. No way. Are you sleeping in your car? Yeah, man. Yeah. You got a lot of money. Give him some. Come on. What if you just gave him a bag? Man, you're dumb. He can see the whole bag. All right. Giving everyone money. Just getting rid of it. He's like, what the hell is he doing here? How are you feeling? Well, you know, I've been better. But... You've been better. You can't even look Walter in the eyes. Kyler. Which reminds me, I better get back to it. Is that everything? Is it going to happen? You're gonna laugh, but I have to ask you about this. Oh, we're doing it. Believe it or not, I found this on my car. He's like, do you know anything about it? You wouldn't know anything about this, would you? But he's like, yes. Actually, I do know about it. It's mine. I put it there. Yo, what is going on? Am I ready for this? I gotta say, I don't like the way you're looking at me right now. It's about to go down. Oh my god. Hey, Hank, you gotta chill. You're strong. I can't believe it's happening. I call my dad. I remember he was in the hospital. That wasn't Pinkman. Yeah, he's like, you betrayed me, Walter. These wild accusations, they could destroy our family. Damn. And for what shit about family? Fair point. Cancer is bad. Yeah, I suspected that. Rodney, you son of a bitch. Really? Back on chemo, and I am fighting like hell. Walter, are you just playing him here? Playing on his emotions? I'm a dying man who runs a car wash. My is that right all? Hand to God. Because you kind of look all that I... fine when I saw you in the beginning of this episode. <laughs> yeah, he's like, where am I? That's true. If you don't know who I am. I'm gonna give him advice. Maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. Oh, really? You shouldn't be saying that, but maybe that is what's gonna save Walter in this situation. That was an amazing confrontation. I thought Hank had all the power and advantage, but Walter kinda turned it on him. It will make Hank a bit more careful, but you could see how hurt and betrayed he felt. It's such a difficult situation for him. This is his family. It's deeper than just busting a drug lord. It's personal, a nightmare scenario for Hank, but also for Walter. Then we also learn that the cancer is back, but I can't panic, cause we kinda know that Walter somehow makes it, judging from the opening scene of course. So the cancer won't get him. But something will happen which will close off the White House and it looks like Walter will become a very lonely man. He won't get caught. Man, I can't even imagine what will go down. But that confrontation tells me that this is the beginning of whatever will happen. The end game.
Hank versus Walter. Anyway, Jesse is back to being miserable, but he figured out that Walter killed Mike. Currently, I have no idea what's left for his character. To find happiness? Nah, I don't think so. This doesn't seem like that type of story. I wonder if Walter will tell Jesse about Hank finding out. That might force Jesse to get involved. Actually, I wonder if Walter regrets not letting Gus take care of Hank. If Hank decides to go after Walter, I wouldn't be surprised if Walter decides to eliminate him. I think it's gone that far. My man is surviving no matter what. And that Ryzen thing, I got the feeling that Walter was about to finish himself. That version of Walter looks pretty dead. Or maybe he's turned into the ultimate survivor and has one last person to kill. But alright, I guess that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't know what to watch next, here's a video I'd recommend. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd much appreciate it. Thank you.